Welcome to our lesson about shut-off surfaces. In order to cut a tooling block into pieces, you need two complete surfaces, the core surface and the cavity surface. In order to create valid surfaces, we need to close the holes between them first. And that's what the shut-off surface tool does. Let's begin by activating the shut-off surface tool. It's on the Mold Tools tab. SolidWorks analyzes the model and selects edges for us. In the message area, we see that the model is not separable. Let's right-click and clear these selections, and let's make our selections manually. This edge, and expand the tree. Let's use parting lines two and three. The message at the top of the property manager is changed and is now green. The mold is separable into core and cavity. So far, so good. Let's take a look at some of the other options on this property manager, the knit option. This lets us join each shutoff surface into a cavity and core surface. The filter loops option. This filters out loops which don't appear to be valid holes. Lastly here are the useful options of showing previews and callouts. And of course we can adjust those callouts in the graphic area. The reset all patch type section, this gives us three options, all no fill, all contact, and all tangent. At this point, let's click OK. And let's take a look at our surface bodies folder. We've got two folders inside it, one for cavity surface bodies, and one for shut off surface bodies. Let's hide parting line three. And let's also hide shut off surface one. And this concludes our lesson about shut off surfaces.